Dennis is a, he, he's not afraid to say things. He's not afraid to put his point of view in. So I've, I've learned to be open. Out of all the superintendents I work with, I probably respect this man more than any of them. His integrity has shown through and is probably one of the biggest lessons that I've learned working for Hoare. He treats Hoare's money like his own. He treats every situation cut and dried. There's no gray area. Try to teach without being a dictator. And I still learn. I learn something on every job. Earl was a craftsman, came up a craftsman. He knew how to do his trade with his hands better than I could probably ever do with power tools. I like Dennis. He's dedicated, he's sincere, he wants to do the best he can do. He looks out for Hoare. He's very intelligent. I don't know of many other construction companies that pushes the field supervision to lead the job the way they do. And I think that's one of the reasons that Hoare has been as successful as they are. They let the superintendents make the calls in the field. I've been working since I was 12 or 13 years old and started in the construction industry at 15. I just like to build things. This is a difficult business to make it 75 years in. So I, th I think their leadership has is, is made sure the whores philosophy and whores way we treat people, that's, that's company-wide. That's not just the executives here at the office saying that. We have leadership that has shown their compassion for communities. I like to volunteer, uh, do volunteer work when I can. And it's the give back mentality. That's one of the, the best qualities of our core values is it doesn't just stop with this company. It doesn't just stop with our careers. It goes, it goes deeper than that.